are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, my name's Ben and this is Barry. This week, not one, not two, but three different fish tacos. Hello everyone, in front of us is the most excellent of days. We have lots of fish tacos. They vary in time, effort, ingredients, and we're gonna talk about which one is worth doing. And we're gonna start with you. Yes, a speedy mackerel taco, or taco. For me, a taco, it has to be speedy. And boy, this one is fast. Blink, and you're gonna miss it. Let's get started. To make my tacos, I'm gonna be using a beautiful oily mackerel and some corn tortillas. My crema is being made up of sour cream, double cream, and a lime. And my salsa, pineapple, coriander, half a white cabbage, red chili, and of course, one of these. For my crema, sour cream, double cream, and a lime into a bowl, and mix it up. And don't forget to season. And now moving on to my salsa, I'm taking half a pineapple and chopping that up. Chili, coriander, and half a white cabbage. I'm sticking it into this. This makes what is already a speedy salsa into a speedier and easier salsa by using one bowl and two blades. We're now gonna swap in the thin slicing disc so we can slice it into the same bowl. Add some seasoning and mix it up. Now to move on to my fish. And I'm using mackerel, which I think is massively underrated. It's not only delicious and oily, but also one of the most beautiful fish you could lay your eyes on. I'm gonna stick these fillets onto a baking tray and then blowtorch them. Now don't worry if you haven't got a blowtorch, you do the same thing under a grill. All we're doing is blackening the skin, which brings out the oiliness of the fish. Hence why you can see it catch a light every now and then. This will cook the fish right through and bring out the best of its flavors. All I have to do now is warm up my corn tortillas. I'm good to construct. Ah! Speedy and summary. Pretty good, Thanks. pretty good. But what if you took a fish taco and made it vegan? So you get rid of the fish. So yeah, technically it's not a fish taco, but if you're looking for a fish taco and you don't want fish or dairy in your taco, this is a delicious taco. I'm absolutely going to town with these, so there's quite a lot to do, but I'm hoping that they're gonna hold up in comparison to the other two. Here are my ingredients. For my aubergine filling, two aubergines, plain flour, corn flour, salt, sesame seeds, chili flakes, nori sheets, and sparkling water. I'm gonna make a banging pickle to cut through all that delicious fried fat by pickling a red cabbage in some cider vinegar, some sugar. For my creamy vegan white sauce, some herbs, mustard, vinegar, and some vegan mayonnaise. And to serve, flour tortillas and a shredded lettuce. So yeah, a fair old bit to do, but to make things a little easier, I'm using one of these. First, I'm gonna make a pickle. Gotta start that early because it's gotta cool down in the fridge to pickle. Equal quantities of water and vinegar in a pan with some salt and some sugar. Gonna bring that up to a boil and let it simmer for a minute. Meanwhile, I'm gonna shred my red cabbage into thin slices using the food processor. And then all that delicious red cabbage goes in with your vinegar mix. Make sure it's all nice and covered. And then that simmers away again for another two minutes. Swap out the thin slicing disc for a thick one. I'm gonna slice up an entire lime, which I've never done before. Whoa, look at that. The lime, cabbage, and all the liquid goes into a bowl. Give it a stir. I'm leaving that to cool down while I crack on with all the other stuff. Gonna quickly knock up my vegan white sauce. Vegan mayonnaise. Adding in some American mustard, and cider vinegar, same as we used before, oregano, celery salt and onion granules. Stir it up. So in order to hold up against the other two fish tacos, I want to try and emulate the fishy flavor that you would get without using fish. So in a spice grinder, I'm using nori sheets, chili flakes, and toasted sesame seeds to create that lovely, delicious umaminess. 
gonna slice my aubergines into chunks about this size, and then they get tossed into my delicious powder. So the reason I've used a spice grinder is because it's humanly impossible to get the noiri that fine. And look at that. You get a beautiful, even, fine coating of the whole of your ob. Nearly there. Gonna make a batter now using corn flour, plain flour, salt, and enough sparkling water to get a consistency like this. Mm. And then the obes go into the batter. Just gonna give these a flip, make sure that they're frying all over. And finally, I'm fishing my aubergine out of the oil and putting it on some kitchen towel to drain. Gonna get a nice bit of color on my tortilla by chucking it in a dry flat pan. Let's construct. Some of those lines, the cabbage, and finally a drizzle of the sauce. Pickled cabbage, Baja style, but not classic. If you come over here, we have the classic fish taco. For this final taco, we are using fish, white fish, cod, and that's gonna be in a delicious batter with mustard and oregano flavors. We're gonna serve it with a white sauce, a pico de gallo, which is tomato, coriander, jalapeno, onion, and lime. And best of all, we're gonna make our own tacos. That's plain flour, salt, olive oil, and some water. And to do all the hard work of the taco making, I'll use one of these. And that's where we're gonna begin. Plain flour with a little bit of baking powder, salt and olive oil into our bowl of our stand mixer. And with the dough hook, we're gonna to begin to knead it together. Then add in the cold water and knead for about five minutes until we've got a really soft, elastic dough. One of the most delicious things about this recipe is the classic Baja style. The fish goujons are cooked in lard. So whereas the first one was the oily mackerel, needed no oil. Mike's was vegetable oil, this is lard. Heat it up in a pan. While the dough kneads away for five minutes, that gives you time to dice up some tomatoes. Take out the middles and dice them nice and fine and then add to it finely diced onion, coriander, jalapeno and juice of a lime. Season up and that's the pico de gallo. The dough should be really, really soft like that, and that's because it's been well kneaded and it's got a fair amount of oil in it in comparison to the water. Roll them into small balls about that size and leave them on a floured tray. The white sauce is one that we were taught by a guy called Ricky in LA. He has a fish taco van. This is the classic, sour cream, whole milk, mayonnaise, mustard. The batter for the fish is also really simple. Dry ingredients in first, plain flour, baking powder, salt, and then add in the water. Once you've got a batter, you're gonna finish it off with mayonnaise, just a tablespoon, and some dried oregano. The fish I'm going for is cod loin, or something quite meaty. We're gonna cut it into goujon, or finger length pieces. Once the dough's rested, it's nice and soft. Do two things. One, preheat a dry, flat pan on the hob to cook them. And number two, attach a lasagna roller onto your machine. And then, at a relatively low speed, so you've got control, pass it through, at one point, turn it through 90 degrees and pass it through again, and then another 45 degrees and go again. Basically, you wanna roll it out, but try and keep it round. Once they're nice and thin, and I've gone to about the thickness of number five out of nine on the pasta roller, then they go into a really hot pan. They should only need 30 to 45 seconds on each side if it's super hot. Once your lard is up to 180 degrees Celsius, then season your fish, dust in flour, dip in the batter, and fry it until golden and crisp. Right, well, we need to start by eating them, so let's get stuck in. Maccas first. Maccas. Mm. Get the crispy skin. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Gin. Macca tacos. Oh, that sauce is amazing. Not everyone likes mackerel because it is that kind of oily fish. For me, with that pineapple, that is brilliant. So how long did that take you to make? About 10 minutes. 
10 minutes. It's pretty good. If you've got a craving for a taco. Right, I'll talk about something that's not only not bad, it's not terrible. Done. <laughs> and it's not fishy. So try my vegan aubergine. Oh, I nearly went for it. Cheers. Chink. Cheers. Cheers. I know. That's a bit special. Mm. Oh, you do not miss the fish. I mean, it's not. Not at all fishy. Well, the weird thing is, 75% of tacos mm. probably don't have fish in the first place. It's only because we've called this fish taco <laughs> that this stands out. But with the seaweed and the Baja style batter, but almost more tempura like because it's yeah. just sparkling water and flowers, really crispy. I'll tell you one thing, it was effort. It did not take 10 minutes. How, how, how many? I reckon for me, start to finish took about half an hour. I think that's fair, isn't it? Come on then. I've been waiting for three hours for this. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. Olé. Oh, that's what I hoped it would be, and it is exactly that. It's very rare mm. that I go to the effort of getting lard just to fry something, but that is the classic way it's done, Baja style, and it adds so much. Like, Whoa! Look at that cross section! Mate, what happened to... What have you been... What's he been doing to you? Now, the most effort in all of that was the tortilla. What do we think? Homemade? Oh, that was a homemade tortilla. Mate, well done. And I could nail about four of those, easy, without even breathing. How long did it take you? End to end, just over an hour. I've got a craving for a taco. Yeah. Grab and go. Boom. Fulfilled. 10 minutes. Midweek meal. Ooh. Cool. Could do that, half an hour. Yeah. Get back home. Cool. Yeah. I can imagine myself making that. That is a, that is, that's a proper treat. Yeah, that's, that's one. I've got a guest round. I loved the aubergine because it was completely different and I was not expecting it to be able to stand up to the other two. And I really believe it did. Aubergine was my favourite, the vegan one. I think the vegan one was the cleverest. The one I would do, my go-to, would be the mackerel. Really? Blow torch in the mackerel. I'm a big fan of mackerel. It's another good use for it rather than the same things I always cook with it. That was clever. That was delicious. That one there with the mackerel is my go-to. Aubergine's my favourite, and it goes to show, the best fish taco out there. It doesn't have any fish in it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, keep your comments coming. Also, keep suggesting the thing that we should make and compare next, because it all comes from you, and we love doing this. It's a really good day for us, so thank you very much. Cheers. We'd love to know which of those you're most likely to make at home. You're probably going to have to cook them to work that out. The links are down below. Before I close this door, I want to make sure you subscribe to Sorted Food. Click that red button, ring that bell, and we'll see you every time we upload a video. Wednesdays are something simple. And they're such nice people. They've done it by the time you've closed it. Yeah? Good. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. My bottom's fallen out. Oh, <laughs> How did you do that?